In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add an armature, a set of bones, to a Cubicraft figure. In the File menu, open the model of Spock. In the View menu, change the view to the front view. Click the plus to open up the Properties panel and untick Background Images, drag to close. Zoom in with the mouse wheel, pan, shift and drag with middle mouse button. Add armature single bone. To see the bone inside the model, go to the object data properties of the armature and tick x-ray. Drag on the tip of the blue arrow to move the bone down so that the head of the bone, the wide end of the bone, is over the boundary between the body and the legs. Go into edit mode. The tail of the bone, the narrow end of the bone, is automatically selected. Drag on the tip of the blue arrow to move the tail of the bone over the boundary between the body and the head. Go to the bone properties and name the bone back and enter. Press E to extrude, followed by Z, and extrude a new bone so that the tail is at the top of the head. Name the new bone the head bone and remove any roll by setting its value to zero. Before we add the arm bones, click the plus to open up the tool shelf panel. Find x-axis mirror and tick it. Drag to close the panel. Select the tail of the backbone. To extrude with mirror, hold down shift and press E. Press X for the X direction. Name the bones arm underscore R for right and arm underscore L for left. We need to disconnect the bones from the backbone. Hold down Alt and press P and select disconnect bone. G to grab, R to rotate 90 and enter. Remove any roll, zero and enter. G to grab and move the head of the bone over the top of the arm. Select the tail of the bone, G to grab, Z, and move the tail over the bottom of the arm. The process is the same for the leg bones. Select the tail of the backbone. To extrude with mirror, hold down Shift and press E. Press X for the X direction. I'm going to turn the 3D manipulator widget off. Select the bones and rename them. Leg underscore right and leg underscore left. To disconnect the bones hold down Alt and press P and disconnect bone. G to grab, R to rotate 90 and enter, zero the roll. G to grab and put the head of the bone over the top of the leg. Select the tail of the bone G followed by Z and move that over the bottom of the leg. We have to connect the arm object to the arm bone so that wherever the bone goes, the arm follows. To do this, go into pose mode, select the arm, hold down shift and select the bone, hold down control and press P and set parent to bone. Select the other arm, hold down shift, select the bone, hold down control, press P and set parent to bone, select the head, hold down shift, select the head bone, hold down control, press P bone, select the body, hold down shift, select the backbone, hold down control, press P, bone, select the leg, hold down shift, select the leg bone, control P and bone, and select the other leg, hold down shift, select the bone, control P and bone. To be able to pose the arms and the legs, I'm going to apply the inverse kinematics constraint. Select an arm bone, Click the Bone Constraints button, add constraint inverse kinematics. Because there's one bone, set the chain length to be one. Select the other arm, add constraint inverse kinematics, chain length one, select a leg bone. Add constraint inverse kinematics, chain length one, select the other leg bone. Add constraint inverse kinematics, chain length one. That's the end of the tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to change the image file so that you can quickly and easily create other Cubicraft figures. 
I'll put the start file and the end file at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.